What's up horror fans, I'm the Master of Movies Clay from the Hills Maniacs and today I'm going to be comparing Halloween with Halloween 2018. So I wanted to do this video, you know, Halloween Kills just came out in theaters. I haven't gone to see it yet, uh, but I definitely will hopefully be doing that soon. Uh, but I wanted to kind of compare, because I know Halloween 2018 is technically a direct sequel to Halloween. However, it is also kind of its own new franchise, if you will, or at least its new trilogy with Halloween Kills and then Halloween Ends coming out later on in the future. Uh, and I kind of wanted to compare them as kind of the first movies in both series, even though technically it's a sequel to the original. But anyways, uh, so I'm going to compare Halloween to Halloween 2018. And um, I will say overall, I, I enjoy both movies. Um, th they take place 40 years apart, I believe. And uh, they're, they're both really great movies, and I think that Halloween 2018 being a sequel to the original Halloween uh, was a lot better idea than just trying to reboot the franchise uh, from scratch you know they basically just got rid of all the films after Halloween and just put this one in their place uh, and they are both really good films I really enjoyed both of them I know some people didn't like the new one but I I really liked Halloween 2018 between the two, though, um, I think just how iconic the original Halloween movie is, uh, is what I think makes it a better movie for me. But I do like the way they reverse the roles in Halloween 2018 with uh, Jamie Lee Curtis's character, Laurie Strode, uh, being the one that's kind of trying to hunt Michael, if you will. Uh, Michael is getting moved from Smith's Grove Sanitarium, I think, to another place, or vice versa, you know, some other sanitarium, I forget if it was Smith's Grove or not, but, um, he's being transferred and things happen, he escapes, and he hunts down Laurie Strode, who now has a house equipped to fight against, uh, Michael Myers, she has a ton of guns, she has elaborate traps set up, uh, and and it's just really cool to see how the the past movie when she was you know 40 years ago or whatever it was uh, affected her and and I know it's it's kind of like a bad thing that it emo it emotionally scarred her but at the same time you look at what it did to her and how it prepared her for uh, what else was was coming in this world and then she even taught her daughter how to how to fight and her granddaughter gets involved in this movie and I just really liked the way that they kind of mimicked at least the scene where Michael gets shot out the window by Dr. Loomis in the original uh, and this one Laurie gets thrown out the window by Michael uh, and when he looks down she's gone just like he did uh, just like Michael did in the original one when Loomis looked over the balcony Michael was was gone um, and I like too that they, they mention how Michael was was brought back to the the sanitarium because we know he obviously escaped at the end of the movie because he wasn't laying in the grass uh, uh, you know after he got shot they actually bring that up in 2018 where uh, Dr. Sartain is talking with the police officer and he says how they apprehended him, you know, 40 years ago at the, at the sanitarium, or, and brought him to the sanitarium where he's been for the last 40 years, and, uh, so I like that they, they made sure they had that continuity, uh, to, to basically bring up how they caught him and why he's back at the sanitarium, and they're not just like, oh yeah, he's just here now. Um, so that they managed to take that extra step to make sure that the viewers knew that might that something actually happened that we didn't see on screen, uh, but something actually happened that that allowed them to catch Michael and bring him back to the sanitarium. Um, again, the the original, you know, just that iconic uh, Michael Myers mask the first time you see him, and 
uh, Donald Pleasance as Dr. Loomis, and Jamie Lee Curtis, you know, as, as Laurie Strode, and uh, it's just, it was an incredible movie, the original one, it was probably the first horror movie that I actually sat down and actually watched, uh, and was not scared of uh, the entire time, so, and that iconic music, you know, and, and just the way Michael is, because he's not really human anymore, you know, he's, he's just so far gone that he's, nothing really affects him anymore, uh, and, and again, the, you know, when he's chasing Lori, and, and he's going around, it, and you never knew what was going to happen next, you never knew where he was going to show up, uh, or who he was going to kill, and it's the same in 2018, you know, it's, it's the same Michael Myers, it's, he's still able to evade the police and, and hide and you never know where he's going to pop up and there's a psycho doctor trying to hunt him down and uh, so I mean both movies really mirror each other but for being a sequel to the original I did really enjoy for what it was but it, the original is always going to be better I think for me uh, just because of that nostalgia that, that I get whenever I watch it. You know, I could watch it so many times uh, and still really enjoy the movie just just because it was it was so great and it's so iconic. Um, and 2018, of course, is, is creating its own new trilogy. It, it, it was a really good movie. I saw it in theaters when it came out. I've watched it a couple times after that, again on DVD, and I still really enjoy it every time. Uh, the, Michael gets more creative with his kills, and uh, and again that that battle between Laurie Strode and Michael Myers, you know, and Michael tracking down the reporters to get his mask back, and it was a whole. They focused on family and a whole story, and that's why I really enjoyed it. Um, and I think that had I been comparing this to any other Halloween movie, I think Halloween 2018 would win. Uh, but because the original is always going to be the original Halloween. Um, I, I just think it was, it was a lot better than 2018, even though I really did enjoy both. So anyways, guys, there you go. That, that was my comparison of Halloween to Halloween 2018 and which one I thought was better. And, uh, I know it was kind of a short video, but, uh, there wasn't a lot, because I love both movies, so there, there, it was really hard to choose which movie was better, but again, I think the original Halloween uh, it wins it over Halloween 2018. But anyways, guys, there you go. Thank you for tuning in to Halloween Week, and thank you for watching this video. Make sure you leave a like, comment which of the two Halloween movies you like better, uh, and if you want to go further and comment which of all the Halloween movies that we've had so far is your favorite, uh, go for it, and, uh, let me know what you guys thought of this video, and go check out, if you hadn't already, go check out what we did for Halloween Week, which was all of last week, Sunday through Saturday. Uh, to lead up to tonight's video in, in Halloween. We had a lot of fun doing this. We did it last year, so go check that out if you haven't. And uh, stay tuned for what else we got going on on this channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.